a huge potential leak with new LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga info has been revealed. In this video, I'm going to be sharing it all with you, from a list of characters to level details, including Order 66 and Palpatine's arrest. Make sure you watch until the end of the video because you do not want to miss any of this possible leak. Also, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any future Skywalker Saga news updates that will be coming. I want to start by making it clear that this leak could be fake or real. There are reasons to make a case for both and I will explain them in this video. Typically, I do not cover leaks as most of them are clearly fake. They're easily debunked. But this one has something that might give it a little bit more credibility than others. It could also just be a crazy coincidence. The leak appears to be a message sent to TT Games, possibly by Lucasfilm or someone else. It was posted to Pastebin on April 5th, 2019, and you're probably thinking that was a long time ago. Yes, it was actually only found a few days ago, but if you remember, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga was not revealed until June 2019. However, before it had been announced, Matt Wood, who is a sound editor and voice actor for Star Wars, let it slip at Star Wars Celebration he was working on a new Star Wars game. But that was April 14th, more than a week after this leak was posted to Pastebin. That proves whoever posted this leak did not make it up after hearing what Matt Wood said. So either this is going to be real, or it's one coincidence that just lines up. People had speculated a new LEGO Star Wars game was going to be made because of episode 9 to round off the Skywalker saga before Matt even said anything, so it could just be fan fiction, but who knows. Let's go through the leak now, and it starts by saying, list of requested new characters and variants from the prequels and original trilogy. We understand that developmental resources are limited. You are not obligated to put any of these characters if they do not fit budget or schedule. Characters with a check mark beside them were unanimously requested by my polling group and, if possible, should be prioritised, as well as all characters from the original version of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, if feasible, with the possible exception of Indiana Jones, see George Lucas below. We are also in favour of DLC packs of these characters if you wish to include characters from the list that could not make it into the base game. Feel free to include any prequel and original trilogy characters not on the list that you would feel appropriate. As you can see here, it's a massive list of over 130 characters and variants that were not part of the complete saga game. Some of the characters have been confirmed for the game in trailers, but most of them have not been confirmed yet. Also, minor characters such as Yaddle that were on this list have been confirmed even though they weren't considered a priority according to this list. Speaking of prioritisation, the fact that they're using tick box emojis for this list is kind of off to me. Maybe it was written on a mobile phone and that makes it a little bit more plausible, but for me, I just wouldn't expect game devs using tick box emojis on some sort of list. It just seems a little bit out of place for me, but that's just my opinion. It is also worth remembering this leak, if real, will be almost three years old and things in games development change very quickly. We know that TT Games said that there would be around 800 characters and skins in the game, but only 300 or so will be playable. I'd imagine most of this on this list, if real, are not going to be playable characters. The leak list is only 130, so many of them could be possible now the game has been delayed well past its original 2020 release date. It also mentions DLC packs, which were a thing with LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. There were quite a lot that added new characters post-launch. But with this game, a lot of those characters are probably going to be in the base game, considering it's the entire saga. We know of DLC packs that will be coming to the game as part of the deluxe edition, but they're centred around The Mandalorian, Solo, Rogue One, classic versions of the characters from the original games, and The Bad Batch. On to the level details, and it has a subheading of list of required levels and level additions from prequels and original trilogy. It goes on to say, general length increased to levels, incorporating more collectibles and new abilities that will be detailed later. Fix flying to use a free system like in LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Bonus level, Gungan Army. Bonus level, Anakin at Tusken Raider Camp. Bonus level, Arrest Palpatine. 
Bonus level, C-3PO, R2-D2 on Tantive 4. Bonus level with Chewie and R2-D2 saving C-3PO from the Ugonauts. And a bonus level in Jabba's Palace featuring C-3PO and R2. Add the Gungan Bongo to the Invasion of Naboo. Add the Arena Beasts to the Jedi Battle. Add Boga and the Wheel Bike to General Grievous. Completely rework Ruin of the Jedi. Have Anakin and a 501st clone fight Younglings and Shaq T. Then switch to Obi Wan and Yoda near the end. Add the Wampa to the Hoth battle on foot. I personally think this is where it sounds more like someone's dream fan fiction, because we all know Lucasfilm will not want you to fight younglings. Perhaps whoever wrote this was making notes quickly, or this would never be a thing and they just wasn't thinking. The levels also seem to be a bit too close to the complete saga, and somewhat contradict later statements from TT Games themselves. They said that they used the complete saga as a foundation, but they were not remaking levels from that game, but rather doing new things in levels that were previously not able to be done. An example they gave was the first level of The Phantom Menace. At the start of the film, it's Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon trying to escape from the Trade Federation ship, just like we saw in LEGO Star Wars 1 and The Complete Saga. However, TT Games confirmed the first level is actually going to be an underwater escape in the Gungan Bongo on Naboo, which was never playable in a LEGO Star Wars game previously. The time frame for this confirmation of this level was back in 2019, not long after it was revealed, just a few months after this leak was posted, so they probably would have had the level structure already in place unless this document was quite old. And game development does change, but it seems quite like a drastic one. On top of that, it is very silly someone would post such an important document on a public website and hope no one finds it. However, some games have had leaks like this pop up. It's also a way people make fake leaks, but at the same time, some real stuff has happened. I'm just not 100% sure about it. Do you think this is real or fake? Let me know down in the comments. Personally, I think if the level section was not included, I would lean that it's a little bit more on the real side, but those notes just seem a little bit off, but that's just my opinion. I'm fine with being wrong though. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like to help support the channel and subscribe for more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news updates. Check out the playlist on screen right now for any news updates you might have missed, and I shall see you in my next LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video. Goodbye.